What's up guys, Patrick here. In this question, we're given f of x is equal to b, bracket four plus x. And we have to find the value of this b here. If the inverse of this function at an x value negative three is equal to negative six. So we got this function here, b bracket four plus x. But we're given information about the inverse. So how can we find the value of b? Now there's multiple ways to do this question. The toughest way, I see a lot of students doing this, is that they'll actually find what the inverse is. And you can do that if you want. So you plug in y here, then um, switch up the x and y. So this would be x, this would be y, then you isolate for y, and then you could plug in this. That's one way to do it. In my opinion though, we know that the inverse has this coordinate negative three and negative six. So that means that the function, what's the coordinate on the function gonna be? It's gonna be the uh, inverse of this coordinate. So it's just gonna be the coordinate switch. So it's gonna be negative x, negative three. And then you could just plug in this here. So we could plug in negative six for the x and negative three for the y and then just solve for b. It's that simple. So, Either way, you'll get the same answer, but I feel like this way is way easier. Divide both sides by negative two, the negatives cancel out. You end up with um, positive three over two. So that's the B value, right? So I feel like it's easier to just take that coordinate, switch it, and then sub it into the actual function. Now, if you were gonna use that other method where you find the inverse first, Again, it's gonna take you a lot longer. I wouldn't suggest that, but I could show you how to do it anyway. So you gotta isolate for that y. So from here, what we can do to isolate for that y, we can divide both sides by b, so we'd have x over b equals four plus y, and bring that four over, so x over b minus four equals y. So that there's the inverse, so basically, the inverse is x over b minus four. And then we could plug in negative six here for the y value of the inverse and then negative three for the x value of the inverse. So we'd have negative six equals negative three over b minus four. Bring the negative four over. So negative six plus four gives us negative two, which is negative three over b. And then we can cross multiply. So we have negative two B equals negative three. So B is three over two. Same thing. And look how much more work it is to find the inverse first and then plug in that point. Easier to just switch the coordinates of the point. That's gonna be on the function. Plug in that coordinate here and then isolate for B. You get that same answer.